In this episode of a mobile home makeover, I fail again at removing the kitchen sink. We look at spray paint options for hardware, find some apples, show you how to clean a gray coat paint sprayer, at least the way that I'm doing it, and I make contact with the cat living under the house. They say a cottonwood tree is a no-no to plant on your property because it makes a mess. It's fast growing and break, limbs break off easily, but boy, what a majestic, beautiful sounding tree. Here's an interesting one I learned recently. They say that uh, hay fever pollen attacks uh, are on the rise or have been on the rise because for the past hundred years we've planted nothing but male trees because we don't want to deal with the mess of the fruit of female trees. So a lot of the trees around in our streetscapes are just male trees and male trees release pollen. So one decision at a time on a big scale creates these whole new issues. I got some pretty sweet plantings in this yard. Ferns and I don't know what these are, some kind of thuges and some flowering type stuff. Yeah. My initial reaction was uh, or first pass at cooking something here, it came up to heat uh, quite quickly and uh, seems to be going well. I've got to only saute stuff because um, all I have is a frying pan that works. sister-in-law started a, a sourdough starter oh, about when we started this project and she made her first loaf yesterday. It's looking pretty good. Well, the induction cooktop seems to be working great, so that's nice. Good. I'm putting on the bunny suit early today because I need to get these cabinets out of this room so I can start painting the room itself because this room is going to be ground zero in flooring installation. It's going to go from being the least, well, not the least finished room, that's the bathroom and the hallway. Uh, it's going from being the least painted room. I need to get bring it around to being the most painted room because I need to start the flooring over here going this way So that I can do this bathroom first in here and then once I get the floor in I can put in the new toilet So the day starts with the last painting hopefully m minus some touch-up painting probably on these cabinets I'm just doing the backs of them with the second coat right now. Doing a little piece work here. Got to bring these from brass, 70s, to something else, 20, 2020s. Uh, I'm guessing we'll spray paint them gray or white. I'm going to probably use just uh, some kind of enamel spray paint, something that's the uh, vintage ones off of our cabinets, my brother and I brought a sample over to Home Depot the other day, or a, couple, a, few, a month ago, and, um, and I found that the, these old ones are actually kind of higher quality than the new ones available now, so I would rather stick with these and just repaint them. Twenty nine down, and uh, oh, only nineteen to go. It's a smoky, windy day. Can't see the mountain back here, <clears throat> and uh, I'm happy for the wind. It's in the nineties, but I know the wind's not good for fires. It's kind of um, intense being in this. Uh, forested area where there, when there are fires going on. Some cleanup tips about the Graco paint sprayer. Uh, this part here, that's the nozzle, it comes off. By spinning this guy. And then you want to clean both the nozzle and the front here. You want to spin it around. 
and clean the nozzle, uh, the clear nozzle too. And the easiest way to clean it is under the water. Under the water, not above the water, near the water, under the water. I don't know why, but it just cleans way easier than that. And this water looks white, but it's plenty, plenty. This is my clean water bucket. It's plenty clean enough to be cleaning paint. And you just want to get it good and scrubbed up under the water. I keep this bucket ready at all times and I store the tools in it uh, when I want to take a break or even uh, overnight. I'll clean the tools and then put them right back in the bucket just to make sure that they are uh, clean. You know, as an artist, uh, it's pretty common to just keep your brushes in water most of the time or in uh, oil most of the time. Just use them when you're ready to use them. They might rust eventually, but this is... Uh, Looks like aluminum or something. I don't think it rusts. Same thing with this guy. It comes apart. You want to be sure to scrub both sides. Again, under the water. Then uh, I like to uh, Change out the water for clean water. Then I like to run a bit of uh, this clean water through the machine. Through the machine. Just pumping some clean water through the hose just to make it extra clean. Now that's probably clean enough to store it for a little while, but I like to uh, dunk it in the water <coughs> if I'm just leaving it, you know, for a short period overnight or something. All right, my in laws, otherwise known as Kim and Eric, have talked me into taking out the sink days before it's necessary just so we can get a better measurement. In case you're curious, we keep all the tools or out here in this locked little shed. Here we go. I don't need probably the whole basket. What else? Maybe a drill. Nah, probably just some wrenches and stuff. My tools. I've got a leg going. I've read some directions. Now I need to turn off the water. Turn this that way, clockwise. That did the trick. And water's off. Now I gotta put a bucket under this guy. Or I think maybe the bucket needs to go under several, several, uh, Spots here as I work because I gotta disconnect this stuff. That came apart relatively easily. All right, so I've got the two drains separated. Now I just have to get these supply lines back here. I need another wrench, something to torque one against the other on, or else this thing's gonna come in the part. Texting for a rescue tool. I believe the cabinet doors are done painting. Who knows? They might need a touch up here and there, but I think they're done. Ready for hinges. So we're gonna go over to the hardware store and look at spray paint. That'll work for the hinges. Semi glass protective enamel. And then what are our options over here? These are two Ace ones, interior metallic. I'm a little nervous about metallic, but it makes sense, like, seeing this and understanding, oh, yeah. it's a vent and it's a metal thing, so yeah. maybe metallic. Well, and this one I like because it's not, 
that modeled weird. Uh, oh, this is also metallic. metallic. Aluminum. And then gloss enamel. Okay, yeah. Maybe these two. This one looks like, like, like the cap itself makes it look like it's gonna drip. Yeah. <laughs> Indoor, outdoor. Let's see. I can get whichever one. Mmm. Yeah, these are pretty like sweet looking apples. That's quite good. This is really good. Oh. What is this one? I don't know, but it's delicious. But these are, these are so, these remind me of one of the trees we have. Mm. It also reminds me of all the fucking. Dude, all I know Warm is that we apples we have don't taste as good. Mm, that's pretty good. That's real good. Wow. Yeah, this is your spot, huh? Oh, he's curious. What's in the house? Have you been in there before? You want to say hi? Turns out somebody is totally used to people, totally used to being petted. Yeah, you're just nervous with all those dogs around, huh? Well, now that we've made contact, I don't know where this is gonna go, huh, Bill? Seems like you kind of want, want a buddy, huh? Yeah, I bet you don't have any free control whatsoever. Yeah. What a stripe, huh? Okay, maybe this is a little ridiculous, but come on. Come on, what am I gonna do? Cat just came and got on my lap. I mean, what am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah. What? What's going on, buddy? It's safe to say he's been missing missing people. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, maybe we'll be spray painting those hinges and starting to mount this, these cabinet doors next time. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, see you again next time.